What if you could build your very own quiz funnel on your Shopify store that converts at 5, 10, 15, 20% on a daily basis? Hey everybody, Dominic back with another video this week, teaching you guys exactly how I build all of my quiz funnels for all of my partners that typically convert between an average of 5 to 15%. They're extremely easy, and you can likely have one set up in the next 30 minutes. If you've never heard of me before, I run a company called DM Corporations, where we help scale Shopify-based e-commerce stores to over a million, do over a million dollars a month in profitable revenue. Now, let's get right into this video. So here's a screenshot of one of the quizzes that I've built for a partner of mine. We'll walk through the example here in a second. Um, but this quiz converts at an average of about seven and a half percent day in, day out, which is a 145% increase of their store average. They convert at about 2.7% um, on a daily basis with, with a higher AOV. Um, this quiz converts at over seven and a half percent for people that go through this funnel. So these are extremely powerful. I build them for almost every single partner I work with. Um, even on some products that are hard to build quizzes for, I'll, I'll show you guys how, you know, to get creative and how to work kind of around that barrier. So let's get right into a, a quick example. So I obviously walked you guys through Lumen here, which is an incredible company in the skincare space. Um, this is not a partner of mine, um, but these guys kind of pioneered the quiz funnel space. Um, they have been doing this for a few years now, and it's been their most profitable funnel for years over end, probably four or five years. They've been running this on all of their meta ads, Google ads, uh, really pushing it on their website and just really going after this kind of quiz type of funnel. Um, and it's it's been working for them day in and day out for years on end. So obviously they're doing something right here. Um, yep, you'll see this this kind of results page. They, they structure theirs actually as a free trial, which is really, really smart because this is a subscription product. Um, this landing page looks excellent. Yep, try it out for 21 days. Um, if you do have a product that you can do a free trial and you have the resource to, resources to do so, um, it's always a good idea, oops, to, uh, to test that out. Um, but yeah, let's get back into this kind of presentation. So um, here's a quiz that I made. Um, this is the 7.5% conversion rate for a product that doesn't necessarily need a quiz. Okay, so a little bit of background for this brand is they sell fitness gear uh, with their top seller being resistance bands. So um, I am going to block out a lot of their actual branding uh, just because I want to keep their their brand private here. Um, but yeah, just to give you a little bit of background, they don't necessarily need a quiz. They don't have a product like skincare, like supplements that are super, you know, kind of quiz savvy. Um, no, they, they, they sell some fitness gear with their main product being resistance bands. Um, but we get creative because a quiz can apply to so many different brands. I'd say there's, there's very few brands that a quiz just doesn't apply to whatsoever. And we'll, we'll get through this in a little bit, but, um, Here's how I, I set up this quiz is, is asking a few questions. And, and funny enough, not all of these are actually linked up to products. Um, so uh, the idea behind these quizzes is, is to get people to engage and feel like they're getting a personalized recommendation, which is what quizzes do. But um, you'll see here, I have about seven or eight questions. Only three of these are actually linked up to products. And the, the reason for that is because this increases engagement. This makes it feel like it's more personal, um, even though not all of these are linked up, you know, to, to logic. So we ask here, what's your primary fitness goal? We go into your, your current fitness level. Um, and we're actually gathering data on all of these as well. So we know what people are answering. So that way we can actually understand our audience a little bit better. So uh, kind of killing two birds with one stone here. How much space do you have available for your workouts? How important is portability? What is your preferred type of resistance training? What's your budget? So this one obviously has logic. This one has logic. And then we hit them with the email sign up. Now, um, I will say this is a little bit controversial and I would test both. So um, with asking an email sign up, you're going to get a drop off. You are going to get people that do not want to give you their email and they're going to leave at this step. Now, our drop off is about 10% from this step, but 90% of the people that go through this funnel, give us our emails. And that is a win over losing a 10% drop off, but it is worth testing this step 
um, because removing it, you are going to get more people through the funnel um, and you may convert a little bit higher. So if we didn't have this step, we may actually be converting at, you know, eight, maybe 9% in this funnel. Um, but the emails are super, 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 super valuable. Um, because this way we can actually retarget them with their results. Now, obviously I blocked out um, the, the products here just to, to keep these guys private again. Um, but the, the really cool piece with this is if they actually don't end up buying, what we'll be able to do is set up retargeting campaigns with these very specific products. And those retargeting campaigns work extremely well. Um, we're also giving them 10% off at the end of this quiz. You can test something like that as well. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of the, uh, the example here. Now, what brands can benefit from quiz funnels? Like I said earlier, it's, it's almost any company. Um, almost any company can get super creative on developing a quiz funnel. I would say some of the, the, the products that may not need a quiz funnel are like single product websites, right? Um, where if you only have one product and maybe the only variation is colors, or maybe you don't even offer different colors, it may be difficult to build a quiz um, to just offer the same product no matter what they answer. So outside of that, I'd say, almost any company can can build a quiz right any company with multiple products can get creative um, and and build some sort of quiz funnel um now obviously these are going to kill it for like skincare brands any supplement brand with multiple products where your products um, solve different issues right if you have a a supplement line and maybe one product is for eyesight one product is for you know, losing weight and one product is for building muscle, right? Obviously you can go through a quiz and say, what are your main goals? I don't know. Eyesight is not relevant to the other two. So hopefully you don't have a supplement product uh, line that is uh, muscle building weight loss and then a random one for eyesight. But um, let's say muscle building weight loss and um, sleep maybe, right? Like those can all kind of somewhat go together. Um, you can, you can obviously ask quizzes for what, what other, what's their primary fitness goal, right? Again, muscle gain, weight loss, sleep, super easy. Um, and then, yeah, just get creative. Um, if you don't obviously have a, a company that's super relevant, um, like resistance bands and some accessories, just get creative. Um, just like this example above. So, um, there are really two ways to building a profitable quiz funnel that I know of. Okay. So there may be more, these are the two that I always do. Um, option one is custom coding through developers um, and actual HTML code. Um, and option two is a Shopify app. So the example I shared above here is actually built from an app. Um, so I'll, I'll show you guys what app I use for this and kind of talk a little bit about the pros and cons to each of these solutions. So custom coding is you can design this code, however, or the design this quiz, however you want it. To, to look, right? So you can get a super clean and super on-brand design that's really functional, really nice looking. Um, I would say, you know, this is definitely the route for like higher end brands that have a lot of revenue um, coming in and have a kind of higher end feeling website. Um, that's, a, that's a huge pro to the custom coding side of things. Um, another pro is you're not reliant on any app. So if the app, you know, has issues, which apps, you know, do, sometimes they'll release updates that cause bugs. Um, and you don't really have any say over that. So you're kind of, you know, at the will of the app here. Um, and then once it's built, there's no cost associated. So obviously a, a lot of the apps are going to have like subscription fees. Um, once this is built, you're really not going to have any sort of cost associated to it. Now, the cons are even if you have great developers, it can get really hard to build very extensive logic. Um, it is possible, but it can just, you know, it, it, it gets really exhausting. I have one partner that um, we built a custom quiz funnel for, and they have 12 different, you know, kind of possible solutions. And that took a while just to build 12. We have to build 12 new collection pages, um, link up the questions to these, these collection pages. So if you have a lot of products with maybe a lot of different results, um, custom is just going to be a huge headache. Um, con two is it does require a developer and a designer or a developer designer. Um, so you know, if you don't have one already, you'd have to go find one. Um, it can be a higher upfront cost to obviously pay this person uh, to actually build it. And then it is harder to track analytics. You are going to have to actually custom add, um, you know, Google and GTM to the, to the quiz to actually track each solution. Um, like, for example, for that other client we have, we're actually not tracking each and every question um, like the quizzes like here. Now the Shopify app is, it's super easy to set up. You know, there's really no tech experience required. Um, I'd say you can probably have this set up in 30 to 60 minutes and have it running um, 
fully functional and converting well. So there's that. There's no upfront investment. Um, and then you're going to have better analytics and more logic. So, you know, contrary to the custom coding, these apps are built for this. So you can really have as much logic as you want. Um, now, the cons are it is hard to design exactly how you want, right? You are very limited in the actual design of the quiz. It's basically just going to look like this. Now, this isn't bad, um, but obviously, if this is like a very high end brand, this doesn't look amazing. Um, but I'd say for 95% of companies out there, this is probably fine. Um, there are subscription fees. Now, this app is pretty cheap. I don't remember what it runs at. It depends on how many uh, quiz submissions you actually get every month. So I think it's like, you know, 100 submissions every month is going to be, I think it's free or something like that for this app. Um, 100 to 250 is like 50 bucks a month. 250 to 1000 is like 80 bucks a month. Uh, it goes on. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah. Um, and then you are reliant on the app. So if this app does go AWOL, if they launch an update that breaks it, if, you know, they go out of business and stop updating it completely and it breaks, then you're, you're kind of, you know, screwed. <laughs> um, but I would say for most people, I do think the app is the way to go. I typically use apps when I create these. Um, sometimes I go custom, but typically apps. Now, the app I used in this example is called a Shop Quiz Product Recommender. Um, I will attach a link in the description, um, but it is this app right here, you know, 4.9 stars, make my face a little bit smaller, uh, 4.9 stars with 300 reviews. Um, let's see if pricing's on here. Okay. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, it is, it is pretty cheap. Um, you get up to a thousand quiz responses a month, which is a lot of quiz responses. You got to think only a small portion of your traffic is actually going to be going through this quiz funnel. Uh, unless you're a brand like Lumen, where you're just going to be pounding traffic into this funnel. Um, you know, a thousand responses is a lot. Like you can have a lot of traffic and still have not, you know, still not go over a thousand quiz responses every month. So um, I think it is pretty affordable, uh, but you know, there is that fee associated with it. Um, Cool. So now that you have the quiz, right, you won't go through, you build the quiz. It's super easy. If you use this app, um, you have to actually promote the quiz, right? How do people see it? Um, if just building it and having it exist somewhere in the ether um, is not going to give you any benefit. Um, so here's kind of a list of what I do, but there are endless possibilities on getting people through this funnel. Now, um, some additions that I typically take right away are just adding it to the website. So I'll do that through navigation inlays and footer inlays pretty much every single time. And then I've actually tested some timer pop-ups in the past uh, where, you know, if they're browsing for over say 30, 45 seconds, um, or you could even set this at they're browsing for over like five minutes, some sort of uh, pop-up comes up. You can code this through like Clavio, you can code this through any pop-up app um, that basically has the quiz in it, you know, say are you struggling to find what you're looking for, take this quiz type thing. But um, this is pretty much what we always do here. So we'll add a button to the nav menu there. Um, here's the mobile nav menu button. And then uh, here's a footer inlay, right? So we add this on the homepage, collection pages, and bottom of the product pages, right? This is the footer. And then when people click this, it opens the, uh, the pop-up. Now you can also send traffic specifically to these funnels, right? Um, so something that we typically do is add this to the welcome flows. We add this to the abandonment flows, and this converts extremely well when you add this to the uh, abandonment flows. Um, we can actually target, uh, add them to meta campaigns and retargeting campaigns. That's also very, very profitable. So if they visit the website, but didn't buy, we can retarget them with this quiz. And you can also test cold traffic campaigns. I would say this is very hit or miss, um, but obviously a brand like Lumen has been putting millions of dollars into their funnel campaign for years and it's, it's working for them. So, um, and then there's, there's probably a million other ways, you know, a million other systems that you can integrate uh, to, to push this quiz. Affiliates could be a cool one. Um, YouTube, organic blogs, you know, the, the possibilities are endless. Just get creative. This is really what I do every time. And then we'll get creative with some other solutions. Now, um, yeah, that's basically how I build these quizzes. Um, I, I highly recommend building your own. Now, I do want to spend a couple of minutes talking about the upcoming course that we are launching that I am extremely excited to share with you guys. Um, basically, what I'm going to be teaching you is my secret formula to optimizing and understanding all of my partner e-commerce stores. Um, this is going to allow you to replace a lot of your existing agencies. Um, with a custom AI bot. So basically what this is, is it's going to teach you how to build your own custom AI bot that is trained on revenue optimization 
uh, for your specific brand. Um, so I'm going to give you all of the resources needed to actually train it on everything that I know, everything that my agency knows for revenue optimization. And then I'm going to teach you how to train it on your brand's data, your brand's audience. Um, so it understands your customers better than anybody else, better than anything else can. Um, I use these bots for every single partner I sign. Um, I only sign up to eight partners at a time. Um, and my partners are the only ones that get these custom bots. So I've kind of kept this a secret for the last couple of years, uh, but now I am building a course to teach you guys. Um, yeah, I use these almost every single day for all of my partner accounts. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for this. Uh, it's super easy to set up. So even if you don't have any tech knowledge or AI knowledge or anything like that, um, you know, my grandma could set this up and I'm going to walk you guys through every single step. It's quick. It only takes about an hour or two to actually make. Um, and yeah, if you sign up for the pre-launch, uh, you'll, you'll get early access to this course and a 50% off discount. Um, I haven't established the pricing fully yet, but I do think I'm going to keep this at a cheaper price point, like sub $100. Um, just to keep it accessible for you guys. I, I think this really does have potential to, you know, help a ton and save a ton of Shopify store owners a ton of time and make more money and, and optimize all these stores. So I want to keep it accessible. Um, but yeah, if you do sign up, uh, click the link in the description below, you'll get a 50% off discount and early access to this course. Um, but yeah, I hope this video helped. If you are an e-commerce company that's doing at least $10,000 a month and you do want to talk about the uh, partnership opportunities that my agency offers. There's also going to be a link below where you can schedule a call and uh, we'll chat. So hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon.